Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll start using the content type I created in the previous one. So I have a rental agreement list here. And actually we have different types of rental agreements for different types of space that we rent as part of a resource management team here at Contoso, my fictitious company. So I'm gonna start by creating a new list here. I'm gonna add an app for that and that's going to be based on the custom list and first of all we're going to have our warehouses we're going to have those in a special list so we have the warehouses agreements first of all of course i'm going to remove it here from the recent so it sticks and then i'm going to create a new link here called agreements just putting that there and then i will put the warehouse agreements underneath there I don't actually need the agreements there. It's a bit too much. So I have the agreements and I have the warehouses there. All right. And um, now I'll go into list settings. And uh, under versioning settings, of course, this is I always do this on my list. I enable the versioning on that list. And uh, then I'll go into advanced settings, allow management of content type. I also like the launch forms in the dialog. I like to set that to yes. And finally, I like to have the uh, edit column first in the view. So I'm going to do those changes that I always do first before we do anything else. So I'm, I'm clicking on all items here and then I'm just going to set the edit link first. All right, I've done my basic setup of a list and now I'll be back in list settings again and work on this section, the content type section here, which of course is only available if you've actually allowed management of content types. So now I'm going to add from an existing site content type and use the um, Contoso rental agreements. Here we go. Now when I click on new here, you see I get just the item. So if I actually want to get the rental agreement, I need to go in here and create a new rental agreement, then I get all the columns that I defined. But of course, that's not how I want it to be. So I want the rental agreement to be the one and only item to add in this list. So I'm deleting the item content type from this list. And now, of course, when I create a new warehouse agreement, rental agreement, then I have that. Warehouse one, square meters, 456. And the start dates could be today, that's fine. And then you see the end date is displayed as with time also. I'm going to fix that shortly. And uh, the Contoso department is the finance department that's renting that. Actually, it's the sale. And the renewal date, that will be set automatically eventually. And the responsible person will be Anna. All right. So there you see that I can fill out the information. And finally, what I need to do is modify the view so that I can actually see my metadata here. And of course, now we have all the built-in, so such as the modified, the modified by, and all those things, but I also have the special one that I created in my content type. So I can do these things, start dates and the end dates. Of course, I want these in uh, the logical order, so I'll put the end date at the end there. So let's put a sum in there also. On the totals, I'll put a sum on the square meters. It's a good thing to know. So we have a total of 456 meters rented here. Let's go in and fix the end dates here. I'm going to go into list settings, click on the end date field, and change how that's displayed. It's going to be not uh, date and time, but it's going to be date only. Looking much better. All right, so that shows you how to implement the rental agreements content type in a list. Thank you for watching this demonstration.
and then I'm gonna go in on list settings on that. 